So, Mr. Line em Up, I appreciate you coming and taking some time after your fight. I know you got places to be and people to see. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, it is now time for the go main event of the evening. Welcome to the Southpaw Promotions Squared Circle. Kedra Bradley. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I head back home Monday to see my beautiful daughter, my family, and I finally get to just relax a smidge, even though I'm still going to be training because I'm a gym rat. <laughs> I mean, you got to keep training at this level to be competitive and win and take That's your career fact. to the next level, right? Amen. Well, where can people follow you at if they want to check you out online or something? You can definitely follow me on Facebook, Franklin Saint. Or you can follow me on um, Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ring. Give me a Ashley follow. Tune Sus in for the journey. It's going down. Well, Mr. Line em Up, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And go line up those milkshakes for at least a couple days. <laughs> Facts. Southpaw Promotions brings the main event of the evening, and it's all proudly sponsored by the historic St. Michael's Boxing Club. This co-main event of the evening will feature four rounds of boxing in the women's super flyweight division. Your referee at the sound of the bell, Mr. E. Jessup. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner is a fighter that wears the black trunks with the double white trim. She weighed in at a trim and ready 150 pounds. Her young professional career has been flawless. One win, zero defeats. Hailing from Danville, Virginia, introducing Cage. And her rival stands ready in the blue corner. She stands at a rock steady 114 pounds and wears the red and black gladiator style trucks. Her record stands untarnished at one win, zero defeats, not one victory by way of big knockout. She is the fighting pride of Charlotte, North Carolina, introducing the Queen City Diva, Sansa. All right, ladies, went over the rules in the back. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck and back them up. All right, both of these are in the middle of the ring, just swinging for defenses. Yeah, it looked like Ashley was trying to establish that jab. And just throwing some power. Defense. 
All right, both ladies back to the center of the ring. We got Ashley throwing a couple of touches and then followed by a straight right. Ashley again doubles up and then a straight right and it didn't land. All right, Ashley dominated the center of the ring. Kendra throws a left jab that didn't land. Those fighters just bobbing and weaving once again, just trying to look like they're trying to find a way to get in and lay a glove on the other. Kendra goes see, downstairs. I'd like, to, I'd like to see Kendra utilize that jab a little bit, trying to use that range. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, there's a knockdown. Knockdown with 10 seconds to go in the round. He looks good to go, though. Yeah. It could have could have been more of a slip. I'm not really sure. It was a shot. Was it a shot? Look a little glancing. She caught her stepping in. Oh, uh, okay. Here's the highlight. Yeah, Kendra throws a left and... Barely missing with the right, comes in, just grazed it with the left. There oh, that it was. was. a solid shot. Yeah, it was a solid right to sat her down. Sure it was. Solid right to the chin. She's game, though. She's back up. Looks Absolutely. Good. Looks like it didn't phase her too much. And we made it to round number two of this fight, and the second of two ring girls got a chance to earn her pay today. Go main event tonight. Yes, sir. Uh, there's that support. Up off the stool, bouncing around. Looks like her legs are, she's got good foundation there. So let's see what happens in round two. All right, both fighters back out to the center. But when you talked about reach, it does look like Kendra has a tremendous reach advantage. Yes. But I tell you what, Ashley, she's she's stepping into it. She's trying she's trying to find her, uh, trying to find a way in. She, she's not afraid, that's for sure. Definitely not. Throws the right, throws, the, the throws another right. Ashley throws a couple of rights that land. They're mixing it up in the middle. Ashley's Ashley. got great head movement. Yeah, yeah, and she's on the pursuit. She's on the pursuit. You're moving her head really well and, and and trying to find a way inside. She's probably trying to make up for that knockdown. So yeah. Kendra taking advantage of that reach and touches it just lightly with a couple of left hand jabs. Once again with another left. A sweeping right hand by Kendra that did not land. Ashley, once again, lots of head movement on the pursuit, giving Kendra two shots to the body that was good. Brown's take, coming alive right now. Yeah, they are. Well. They sure are. But Kendra took those licks to the body like a champ. She responded immediately. Responds again with the combo. Ashley's Ashley walking her down. Yeah, man. Walked her down, pushed her in the corner, kind of manhandled her for a little bit. Both fighters back out to the center. When you're the shorter, when you're shorter fighter, you gotta close the distance. You gotta get in there, make it a make it a fight. Yeah. You can't sit at the outside when you got that much of a reach disadvantage. Great head movement again. But I tell you, Ashley's got a lot of pep in her step. Um, at this point, it's like Kendra. She's just kind of throwing, you know, she's throwing her blows kind of wild. Yep. Um, none of them are landing. Just like she's just trying to get Ashley off of her while she's regressing on her. What do you think? I think I give Ashley that round. Yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. She might have got a 10-8 for that knockdown in the first, so she's got a couple more rounds to catch up. Right. At least one more. I'm excited for this fight, though. Yeah, man, it's good. She turned that around real quick. Sure did. Sure did. I'm sure coaches were like, hey, let's go out and get after it this round. Absolutely. Yeah, she's getting her instructions in the corner and uh, coming up with her game plan to come back out for this round three and get to the business. I'm watching Kendra though, and I, you know, yeah, she's she's breathing heavy, man. I'm I'm not. I think Ashley's got her as far as the gas tank, and you know, she's uh, 
Now she's already up. Right, she's up, jumping around, five, ready to go. Kendra's still three, sitting down, getting some instructions nice from her coaches. Um, I, I, I think the gas tank may be a little bit of a factor here. The last time I saw Kendra was in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and she did go. Uh, it was a full fight. So mm -hmm. uh, she's got the gas in the past. So let's see how it goes, you know. So a lot of life happens, man. It's been a crazy yeah. year for everybody. You know? Right, yeah, no kidding. The yeah. fact that we have the opportunity to even have these fights is a blessing. It really is. It really is. As close as it was to not happening, you are correct. Both fighters back to the center of the ring. Astor's trying to work the body a little bit, throws a jab, and then goes to the body with the right hand. Um, once again, showing lots of zeal, lots of pep. Um, trying to find a way in, cons consistently throwing blows. But I tell you what, Kendra responded mightily, landed a couple of jabs in a straight right of her own. Kendra's making a fight out of it. She's not going to lay down for it. That's for absolute sure. Oh, she's a, she's a beast. Yeah. She's a game opponent. Here comes both Ashley these, again. Both these ladies are laying it all out there. Yeah, they are. Crowd's really into it, man. They're really into this one. Ashley on attack again. Goes upstairs. Kendra responds immediately. Ashley's got Kendra wrapped up in the corner. Backs out. Throws a couple jabs on the way out. This is, a, this is a closer round than round two, but. Yeah. What, did she lose the mouthpiece? Ah, she lost. Kendra lost the mouthpiece. All right, both fighters back. They trade left jabs. Ashley once again on attack. Once the body comes back upstairs, Kendra responds with a jab of her own that misses. Oh. Oh, Ashley's got Kendra up against the ropes. Crowd really into it. Once again, both fighters back out to the center. Just swinging. They're just, they're just giving it, they're leaving it all out there, Chris. What, wow, a, great what round. a round that was. That was amazing. At the end, I was going to give it to Ashley, but man, there were some good exchanges there. Yeah, at the end. yeah it really was. I was wrong, man. Just when I thought Kendra had no gas left in the tank, but she showed herself. Um, she showed up. She, she, she's not going to make it easy. At the end of the round, Rock she Hill, really South knew Carolina. she had to put it out because she was getting clipped. Four round to go in yeah. this contest. How about we get on our feet and make a little noise for these two fighters? Let's go, Rock Hill. Make some noise over here for these two. One more for these two. Fighters. Somebody is going home. Yeah, really good action. Round number four coming up. Last round. That's the thing about four round fights. You get knocked down, you're at a great disadvantage. Yeah. You, have a, you don't have as many rounds to come back. Right, right. But Ashley has come back with a force. Absolutely. So this is going to be a great story for her if she can pull this off yeah. after that first round knockdown. Both fighters with a show of respect right before round four. Back to the middle. Here we go. Kendra starts with the left. Attempts a right to the body, doesn't land. Once again, they're mixed up again. Ashley throws a left. Hey, they, they pick right up where they left off at the end of round three. Just swing and meeting each other blow for blow. Well, this round could be the deciding round of the fight. Yes, punch, sir. So Absolutely. It could be even with that maybe a 10-8 round in the first. So Yeah. This, this Whoever wins this round could win the fight. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. 100%. Uh, both fighters in the clinch. Hey, I, I love how on the way out, even on the way out after the clinch, they're throwing, they're, they're throwing round, uh, 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 you know, uh, jabs. They're trying to do anything they can to connect. It's amazing. Very exciting call. Yeah. Ashley again, left drop up top, right to the body. Kendra responds with a right of her own. Both of these women are representing professional women's boxing very well. 100%. 100%. Ashley's got Kendra up against him, almost out of the ring on the ropes. Ref steps in and breaks him up. Both fighters meet back in the center. I say up to this point, this is definitely the fight of the night. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Kendrick with a couple of jabs that didn't land. Ashley once again on the move. Throws a, a right overhand that didn't land. Fighters in the clinch. Me back in the middle. Ashley once again, never in the pursuit. She's still pursuing. That forward pressure is just. Yeah. I don't think Kendra likes it too much. It sounds like Ashley's supporters are waking up again. I really push it for her to finish this. Five seconds five, left. Five, five left. They feel it. They feel the victory. Hey, Maybe what a, a fight. fight. What a fight. fight that was. If it wasn't for that knockdown, I'd give it to Ashley. Yeah, but right. We'll have to look and see how the judges score that. Yeah. Great performance from both women. Oh, it was incredible. Kudos to the both of them. That was incredible. Good sportsmanship at the end. It's always good to see after you go to war with somebody and you can and you can have that kind of sportsmanship at the end of the fight. Absolutely. But I tell you, Chris, I, I agree with you, man. I can't call it. I can't call this one. I'm. It was we'll so just, much back and forth uh, throughout the course of the fight. It was the exchanges were amazing. We'll just have to see how the judges how the yeah. judges call it. No matter what happens, neither girl should not hold their head low whatsoever. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They can both be very proud of their performance. I tell you what, they, they gave it all they had, man. They really did. We're well, on standby, just waiting for the judge's decision. But I got to say, this is not an easy one to judge, I don't believe, right here. This is going to be kind of close. This is the first, is this the first decision of the night? I believe it is. Yeah, I think it is. First decision of the night, isn't it? So the judges have an easy job tonight, too. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that's what I said. Definitely fight of the night. Mm -hmm. Up to this point. We still have one to go, the main event, so we'll see. Hey, what's 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 typical for? Uh, let me ask you, as a boxer and as a fighter, when you get done with the war like this, what do you want to do when you get done? So, I can only tell you from my experience. Uh, I had a four-round fight for my pro debut mm -hmm. last year at the age of 35 after taking 11 years off from fighting. And after the fight, I had a broken nose. Mm -hmm. I got a knockdown in the third round. So that's, you know, it was a close fight. It was a hard fight. And I just wanted to spend time with my family, just yeah. relax, and drink some beer, yeah, eat some food. Eat some food, yeah. Just spend time basking in the victory. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. different, you know, if I'd have lost, it might have been a yeah. That's why I, I don't remember anything after the, like for at least 10 minutes after the fight, because I was mm. such, such an adrenaline high. Yeah, 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 yeah I can imagine. Ladies right, and gentlemen, to... after four rounds of absolute war, we do go to the scorecards. Judge Barry Lindemann sees the contest 39-36 in favor of Bradley. Judge Sean Woods sees the contest 38-37 in favor of Sicente. The third and final judge, Mr. Damian Walton. He scores the contest 38-37 for your winner by split decision and still undefeated, Kedra Bradley. Wow, what a fight that was. What a fight that was. I couldn't have called that one. I really couldn't have. I mean, I was... That was torn either way.